Hola, Sam. Hello, Zoe. Like, happy to see you again. How's your day so far? Uh, so long far? and good. good yeah. yeah, great. You know, I, I got the blessing to be in London in the opening night for the first movie in Leicester Square in the Orion Cinema. I was there, so I can tell the yeah. impact that this movie had on me and in the rest of the world. So thank you to be back with the history. So thank you. <laughs> tell me, how, how do you feel the technology changed since the previous one? What what did the major changes that you, you can tell me? I mean, I can, I, I don't, I don't I don't know how it did. I can I can only just explain to you what what Jim explained to us. If anything, I feel like Jim is the one that would be best to answer that question when it comes to our performance and uh -huh. how we approach our characters and and how to how we as actors transport ourselves uh, to Pandora. It was the same level of training and research and rehearsals that we had the first time around. It takes time. It takes a lot of questions being answered, uh, a lot of physical training, mental training, a lot of research. But but you know, for for actors, that sometimes is the fun part. If you want to live here? You have to ride. Let's do it. Just breathe. Breathe. I don't remember that there's a, a lot of I, I don't want to use the word shortcuts but it's like you're on the set with a monitor and you can already see what is happening around so yeah. it's, it, you don't need to wait to post-production with a green screen and everything so in this in this There's particular movie that word shortcut that's exactly right yeah the, the principle <laughs> that we can see it. other other movies we've both done haven't haven't involved that kind of technology and it's, no. it's it really helps you detail your world it really does so I, I suppose now with all the high technology and, and quality, the image that you got on the set must be even better than the previous one. Yeah, you look at the monitors around now, it's, it's definitely not just a, a video game. It's, 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 it's getting closer to the photorealism that we present at the, with the end product, so it's cool. And, it, and you need that, you need that sense so we can understand in these virtual spaces that we film in, be it a big grey soundstage, or in this case, putting that underwater, we can we can understand what we're interacting with, and then build that world into our virtual world to give it some truth and some uh, tangibility. You know, so it's vital. I, I already saw because of D23, they show us like 20 minutes. It was stunning, so I can't wait to see the whole the whole yeah. the whole movie. As you see there when they're swimming under the reefs, we yes. would build reefs or reef structures into the water. <laughs> So that mm -hmm. you always had something to touch. It's not faking. There was it's always not. something. So the swimming is real. We're really doing it. We're really touching the reefs. There's some weird creature coming past in pasture. It's like <laughs> it's built and then kind of designed into a, the, the spectacle that you see. Wherever we go, this family is our fortress. Also, I remember the for the previous movie, not only the entertainment part, the visual part was stunning, but also the conversation because the ecological part of the movie was so strong and a lot of people got awareness of that. Do you think we need that kind of movie, for example, in this particular moment that the people remember that this is the only planet we have and no we need to be, take man. care of everything? <laughs> I know, I know. I, it's it is. Um, we hope that's that's our hope that these um, these conversations are sparked from watching the movie. I don't, but I don't think that the movie uh, uh, will come across as as preachy. Uh, mm -hmm. at all I, I i don't think that that for jim um you know it was important to sort of for him to translate his opinion i think that what has been important for jim is to translate you know his experience what he has witnessed and 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 allow us as the expectators to to assess on our own based on how something makes us feel it's a, it's a great thing jake sully you know my character says in the first film sooner or later you have to wake up i think I think that's the message, you know, exactly. with, with the environment, the ecosystems, all with each other and how we treat each other. I think that's a great, that's what Jim's aiming for us to start our own questions and answers from the movie.
and packaged with with beautiful scenery and entertainment is the perfect movie. So thank you so much for your time, guys. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day. I hope to see you in flesh soon. Sure. Same. <laughs>